done? Well, you loved it when I made a mistake with my blusher. So I thought I would try a brand new product. You may have seen it on Instagram, live and direct with no pre-application practice. Um, this is from a lovely brand called Ciate and it's called Stamp and Drag. Yes, it is the ultimate way to apply your liquid eyeliner. Um, if I can take the, uh, oh, that's not a very good start, is it? If I can take the nibs off, it's double-ended, okay? So this side is really, really pointed and that side has the stamp. So it's almost like a very sort of elongated triangle. So if you are one of those people that gets a little bit wobbly-handed just um, at the outer edge of your eye, you lose your confidence when you come to the outer lashes. You think, where shall I take the flick of my eyeliner? Do I go up in a much more sort of 50s way, out in a more cat way? Which way works for my eyes? We've talked about that in previous videos, but sometimes you want to forget about, you know, your actual face shape and just do whatever the hell you want. So if you are worried, you can just place this on here. This is the theory. And then you use this really fine tip, which I have to say is, is great. It's really, really sharp, but I haven't used this at all because I just thought, why not? Let's do it together. Um, but I think it's a really, really clever little trick. Um, people sometimes don't have the right brushes to get that perfect flick on the outside of their eye. In fact, one of the easiest and quickest ways to make it really sharp is to use a very little cotton bud very fine tiny cotton bud in some eye makeup remover or my cellular water and then polish that shape off so you get a nice fine point. Um, so I think it's a genius idea so let's see whether it works. Now I'm a little bit tired at the moment because I went to my first Polish wedding. To any of my Polish subscribers, you rock! Your weddings are amazing! We had the best time and um, I'm still recovering. It's a long, long stint. In fact, the wedding was over two days that we um, only did the first day, but um, yes, it was a really great time. Anyway, I digress. So let's go for it. So I am, um, this is the side that I sleep on. So it's just a little bit more crushed, I suppose, on this side. If I've drunk lots of water and I'm feeling healthy, looking after myself, my eyes sort of spring back, but they are looking quite tired right now. So I'm not sure what sort of shape I'm going to get because if you're young or you've got lovely tight sockets and your skin is tight, it's really easy to get a smooth line. But if you're a bit crinkly and wrinkly like me, then it disfigures the line and it looks a bit zigzaggy. Right, so I'm gonna place this right on the outer lash. Um, I'm gonna follow my line because that's just how I think it works for me best. And let's stamp. Mm. Oh look, there you are. Okay, so there we are. Maybe I need to tighten my skin. So, take my skin back 20 years. Oh no. Okay, that's better. Maybe just the ink had dried. Oh, you know what, in fairness, in fairness, maybe I had the lid off too long and it dried. So let's just shake it. I mean, we're not, we're getting there, but that's not helpful straight away. Let's give this product a go, dump it on my hand. Um, and let's see if we can have a better go at this stuff. Okay, let's go into the lash line with the solid base and stamp. No, sort of not really, that's not working for me. Let's see, oh, now this is better, look. Oh, look, this liner is great. I wonder why that stamp doesn't work. Am I doing it wrong? Let's try it on the other side. Let's shake it through, get lots of ink and Stamp. Sorry, Ciate. Look, I can see the outside here. I can see what you're trying to do, but the ink's not flowing through on the stamp, or at least on mine it isn't, which is such a shame because it's such a great idea. Um, but, not that you'll buy it for one side, or maybe you will, but look how easy it is. I'm stretching my skin, obviously, so that I don't get... Um, a bumpy line but that sits quite nicely there now I'm just going to do it on the outside of my eye to give me a lift so I've gone thicker on here right so let's get my cotton bud with a little bit of eye makeup remover and let's just stretch that out you see make sure it's oily don't worry about the smudging 
and use the tip and then clean up with the other side. Don't over apply the oil because then you'll make a right old mess. But essentially what you want to do is just create a little bit of a lift and my eyes will come to life when I've got the mascara on. I mean, it's not a proper lovely tick as we'd hoped, but you know, life doesn't work out that way, does it sometimes? <laughs> Definitely not today anyway. Right, so, okay. Don't overdo the oil. I quite like the way this is going on this side. But as I said, this is my better eye. I can get more of a, a lift on this eye. But I'm gonna perfect this one. Look at myself. Look, it's a really nice applicator as liners go. But if you know some with great, fabulous eyes, I bet the stamp would work better. But I had hoped that the delivery system of the ink, because you see, when you apply it, the ink's running down. So the applicator needs to hold enough ink to make sure that when it's upside down, it's still coming out. Okay, I don't want to take it too long, so I want it to work with my eye, not against my eye. And I need to fill in all these little gaps in between the roots of your lashes. Oh no, I'm struggling with this. Sorry, this is not working at all. Let me refix. There we are much happier with that side now. You see how it's given me definition and a little bit of shape. Maybe next week I'll do one with a product that I love and use when I do my eyeliner. Although I very, very rarely use a liquid liner because I prefer a little more of a smudge these days. I don't mind it like a small amount because it gives great definition once you've got your mascara on. If I want a little bit of a lift, I'll have to put a bit more base there, then that's perfect. Let's balance out this side now. Okay, so let's recreate that tail and bring it in. There we go. It's much easier for me to do on other people, let me tell you. Doing this on camera for you guys with a product I'm not familiar with is tricky. And also maybe I've <laughs> and also maybe a lesson I've learned is don't apply liquid eyeliner when you're really tired and your eyes are a little bit. Rrr. Anyway. Good. Well, see, I'll say the stamp and drag, I love the ink and I love the fine applicator. The stamp didn't work so well. The delivery system and the ink wasn't that great. Can you improve on that? Because it's a, it's a really great product. Right, just to finish off the look, I am a little bit pale. Um, I need to just lift my eyes. So going in, as you know, with the fabulous Hourglass Mascara, I'm becoming a bit of a bore of this really, aren't I? But to get this lovely lift, I'm gonna keep this top heavy. So just smudged my liquid liner, sort of on the outer two thirds of my eye, and then a quick coat of mascara, and instantly you can see that it comes together. Um, no one would ever surely go out with liquid eyeliner and not, not, not a lash on. Lash and a brow, and a bit of lip balm, and it brings the best out of most of us. Right, I'm just gonna finish off my eye here. I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer, I think, just to warm up and kind of keep it quite caramelly because of my top. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Delilah matte bronzer just in there, just to lift my socket because I need all the help that I can get to create that space. But that's it, I'm just putting it on powdered skin over the foundation. So, I'm going in with my little bit of bronzer to warm up my skin. Gonna use a nice big brush. This one is by a company called Kit Starts. Nice big fluffy brush. I'm gonna take it just underneath and I'm gonna do it in real circular motions all the way around my face, but you know, going round the hairline area. So I'm leaving the front panel light. So I'm just almost just bringing up the warmth in my skin tone very, very gently, just to kind of give me a little bit more life, but not looking stripy or overly bronzed. I think that's why the, the matte bronzers look a little bit more delicate. Let's keep rolling in with that. And I'll use my Nip and Fab. I think this one's, yeah, this one's called Solar. It's a little bit of highlight just here, and I'm gonna probably patch up the outer corner of my eye as well, just to make that perfect, run that liner, bridge of my nose. 
and that's bringing up my skin beautifully. Okay, let's do a little bit of retouch. I'm going to be using my Magic Away number one, Charlotte Tilbury, but I'm just going to be applying it just in here. What's that mark there? Just to tidy up that area where I had to re perfect. Um, blend, 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 blend. It's a nice little line, isn't it? Just at the top when you're wearing black. I'm sort of inspired by what I'm wearing, really, because I've got black on, so it's just a nice little bit of definition around the eye. Um, but then I'm keeping the rest of the makeup sort of quite nude -y. I have to say, I think I'd like to use a little bit more of a corally blush, I think. I think if I add too much bronzer, I'm going to look a bit orangey. I could just do the nice little pinky blush, watch this space. So here we are, I've got my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate, which is what I used in the summer a lot, and it's just a really nice corally colour. Now the powder I've done on my skin is only light, so I can afford to add a little bit of cream over that powder, but very lightly. You probably really want to use your creams before you put your powder on, but this is quite punchy, this blush, but I just feel that I need a little bit of a boost to make my cheeks look a little bit more fuller. Because I'm a bit sleepy. Okay, and last is Suede Lips by Rodeo. This shade is called Calabasas. And again, it's a really nice neutral shade that works well with what I'm wearing. And it just takes that sort of pale pink out of my lips and just makes them a bit more nudie and a bit more shapely as well. Oh, the texture of this is super soft. I haven't used Rodeo products in a while, actually. I don't know why, you just get out of the habit sometimes, don't you? Gosh, okay, well I definitely look better than I did before. <laughs> um, but, as you know, I'm obsessed with oil in my face. I just, because I feel a little bit parched, I've just used my um, Drunk Elephant, which is probably one of my favorite products out of their brand so far. And I will do another update on the products that I'm using. I'm gonna use the Maroon Oil, it's lovely with makeup, it really is. I'm just gonna press it over my makeup like that. And my lips. There we are. Now that's great. Now, especially under the eyes, that feels a lot fresher. Good, okay, so stamp and drag eyeliners, maybe for people with less crinkly eyes, um, better delivery system, but brilliant idea. And um, isn't it great just to have like a little soft flick on the top line of your lashes because it gives you a great lift. And as always, thank you so much for all your lovely comments below. Um, it's really lovely exchanging ideas and tips and learning from you guys as well. It makes everything I do worthwhile. So thank you so much and have a great weekend.